Hello all, so I'm on this 2012 Toyota Corolla and I need to check the transmission fluid. So I thought I'd show you how. And if you need to open the hood and you come directly up, and this is where, where the dipstick for the, for the um, transmission fluid is, which is right next to the battery. Hopefully you can see right where this is at. Come back in again. And it's right here. Now before you check it, it uh, you need to start it up. It needs to be running and either in park or neutral. Uh, you can look at your manual if you want to read the full instructions for it, but it, it, inside the manual it'll state it needs to be in park or neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Okay, so now it's running. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. And first, I'm going to wipe it off on a rag. So I wiped it off on a rag and it's clean. I'm going to go ahead and insert it back in. Make sure it's in all the way. And I'm going to pop it out. And now if you look, the top line is going to be when it's hot. So if you drove around and you just drove this for like 20 minutes or so and it's idling, hopefully you can see that, it'll say hot right here. If it's cold and you just started up, it should be down here. It needs to be idling either way. So. Right now, this is in the middle. I have been driving it around a little bit, so it should be up where this hot marker is, which is the best way to check it, is to drive it around for like 10, 15 minutes, or at least five, 10 minutes, come back and check it when it's idling. And it should be up here around this marker. So for me, it looks like I'm about, I don't know, half a quart low maybe. I would, have to, I would add in a little bit and then check it and then add a little more, because you never want to overfill these. So should be up here by this line, which might be, I don't know, that might be a quart low, but I'm going to add in a half a quart and then I'm going to check it again. And the way you add it is you add it into the same spot right here. You use a, you use a funnel and you add in the transmission fluid right here. And the type is a original AWS Toyota transmission fluid is what you use, which I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I got the the Toyota ATF-W automatic transmission fluid and this is what you want to use. It's the original fluid that goes in the car so it's best to add it back in. I'll put links down below if you need them and uh, you need a little funnel and all you're going to do is just go straight straight into this into the to the dipstick for the transmission and you're going to I'm going to add you're going to add in your uh, however much fluid that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a half, half a quart and uh, I'm going to check it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I added in roughly half, maybe a little more than half, but roughly half. So I'm going to go ahead and check it again, push it all the way in and I'm right up to the line right there. Uh, again, I'm going to drive it around and go out and drive it around for 5-10 minutes, come back and check it again just to be sure. But as you can see, it's right up to this line, is the level it should be when it's, when, it's, uh, when it's hot and it's warmed up. And so that would be basically it. So that's how to check the transmission fluid on a 2012 Toyota Corolla. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them below. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.